fast. We have our headquarters, thanks to all of you, thanks to Ashley and Paul and all of our interns who are here, and Julia and Neil, our treasurer, who was a tough negotiator when we had to finalize the deal. And I'd just like to recognize a couple other people who are here. We have Dan Patlack, who's running for Cook County Board of Review, so if you have a property tax question, you can come to me and I'll send you to him, or you can just go straight to him. And he's here, he is campaigning throughout the district. This is going to be, as Julia said, a home away from home. And one of the initial sites we were looking at was right across the road from an ice cream store. And that was very tempting because I could imagine eating a lot of ice cream. But I think it's more appropriate that we've actually put ourselves next to a building supply store because this campaign's about building. It's about getting the materials together that we need to rebuild, to start something new, to have a fresh start in the 9th District, not just to pull something down, but also to build something up. And each and every one of you has been a part of it. I'm so excited that we had such a great turnout this evening. To have a really crowded atmosphere is really excited, and I hope it's like this every evening until November 2nd. We have some fantastic things happening. We had our big fundraiser last week with Alan Dershowitz, which got all the right people supporting it and all the right people opposing it. And <laughs> it's uh, given us a fantastic boost. We have some TV appearances this week. I'll be on Hannity on Thursday night. Uh, the great, 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 great American panel, or whatever he calls it. And things are just rolling. There are people calling in now from all over the country wanting to know more about our campaign. Journalists are starting to call, not just local or national, but international journalists. People are looking at this district as a very, very important battleground in the fight for the future of our country, in the fight for the ideas that are going to take us forward. And we have people from all over the district, from as far west as Des Plaines, as far east as Evanston, into the city. We have people from outside the district who are coming in to help out because they realize this is a real opportunity to make a difference. We're already setting records. We are already setting the pace for Illinois. We had a very seasoned Republican political uh, operative, you could say, uh, in Illinois politics tell us today that this is the leading best run campaign in Illinois right now. And that is because of each and every one of you that's because of the vision of our campaign manager, Ashley. It's because of the dedication of our volunteers. It's because of your ideas. As Julia said, keep applying pressure to us. Keep sending ideas. Keep helping us out with new suggestions and new frontiers. There's always more we can do, always more we can be doing, and keep helping us. We have yard signs over there, which you can take away in abundance. We have stickers and pamphlets and leaflets, and we're going to keep printing more. Please encourage your neighbors to contribute, to host a coffee, to walk the streets with us. This is going to be the command center for our door-to-door -door campaign. The only way to win in the 9th district is to out-organize. That's how you win in any district, but especially in this district. People talk about online campaigning. That's very important. People talk about television, advertising, radio. That's all very important. But the only people who are really going to push us over the top are the volunteers who come out to go door-to-door -door with me, with the other members of the campaign, meeting neighbors, meeting friends, talking to them, Republicans, Democrats, Independents, whoever they are, and saying, we need your help, I need your vote, we want to make a difference and bring the 9th District a fresh start. And the only way we're going to do that is with your help, and I'm so glad that you're all here, I'm so glad that my wife is helping out, I'm very proud of her, she had an interview with the Navy today, and uh, <laughs> looking forward to, to that in the future as well, but um, she'll be helping us organize, as long with, along with Paul, our field director, who's been recognized, am I missing anybody, we've got... Neil, our treasurer, Ashley, has anyone not been introduced to people should know from the campaign? We've got our Shalom interns. Is Shalom is not here. Okay, sorry. He's our media director. And we've got Alex. We've got Jordan. Where are the other interns? Just Introduce wait yourself. Just wait. Just They're all in the corner. They're all, we, have some people, we have some people who just started today. So um, lots of people. The more, the more, the better. We already have hundreds of volunteers on our list. And we need to keep going. And we need to keep growing. So thank you all for being here. Thank you for your financial contributions. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. I really believe we can do this. This is being looked at, as I said, as a leading race. It's going to happen here in the 9th District, and it's going to happen because we work together to make it happen. Thank you so much for being here, and every night, every day until November, we'll be working as hard as we can. Thanks so much. So I said, I've been on Don Wade in Roma. I was on Don Wade in Roma uh, twice, once a few weeks ago to talk about the economy. They said... Jan Schakowsky was on and she wanted to talk about how spending is good for the economy. We need to spend, 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 keep spending more. And she's going to be on tomorrow again. Right, so everyone listen in and you can phone in and talk about our alternative view, which is 
That's not how you build an economy. There's no nation in history that has spent itself out of a recession by getting deeper and deeper into debt. Look at Europe, they're all cutting back. Exactly. Angela you know? Merkel lectured Obama exactly. On, exactly. on our country's finances. The Greek model is not one we want to follow. And the way we create jobs is by creating a climate where investment goes forward, where people can start businesses and grow businesses, where taxes are low, where government spending doesn't crowd out private investment, and where we balance budgets so that people have confidence in the future of our financial system. That's the simple way we move forward. We send positive signals not by allowing the executive to do whatever it wants with private property and dictating to small business owners how things are going to be, but rather building from the ground up, creating conditions in which we can help ourselves and build for ourselves. That's the difference between our campaign and Jan Schakowsky's campaign. She's on the Deficit Commission, and she's making decisions today that are affecting the lives of every person in this room. She wants to take away the tax credits that we get for putting money in our 401ks and IRAs. She wants to continue spending, continue spending, no, se no spending cuts at all, she says, and they want to take away some of the tax advantages people get for paying mortgages. All of the things that we do to invest, to save, to grow the economy, they want to punish. That's why we need her out. Exactly. So that's, that's what... When you want to explain the difference between our two campaigns on the economy, it's as simple as that. And there's also a philosophical difference, which is that I believe, and I know you believe, that the role of a representative is to represent the district to Washington and not to represent Washington to the district. And that's the difference we're offering people in this election. To give you a sense of its dimensions, it starts at the lakefront in Evanston and runs all the way west to Des Plaines around the airport. You can basically drive here on Dempster, the whole length of the district, pretty much. Uh, it goes south, both along the lakefront and on the northwest part of the city, so it includes uh, much of Rosemont, Norwich, Edison Park, uh, and the northwest side. <coughs> Towards the lakefront, it includes Andersonville, West Rogers Park, and down Sheridan Road, almost down to diversity in, in certain places. Um, so it's a very diverse district, takes in Niles, Morton Grove, Skokie, Des Plaines, Gulf, Evanston, parts of Wilmette, little sliver of Glenview, and several neighborhoods in the city. It's a really unique district in that it straddles the city and the suburbs. It's also unique in that this used to be the economic powerhouse of Chicagoland. And in the last 10 years, we have seen a decline in manufacturing. We've seen businesses leaving. We've seen jobs being destroyed. You can just drive along Dempster and see the empty storefronts. We're filling one of those storefronts today. We're building something new, and we're leading the way in helping other people build their own dreams and achieve what all of us are here to achieve, which is the best life we possibly can build for our families and for our communities. On the war in Afghanistan. The war in Afghanistan. I think what's happened this week, we see the fighting between General McChrystal and yeah. President Obama. I think it's very unhealthy. I think it was very interesting to listen to the BBC on the radio today. Our allies overseas, the UK and the other allies fighting alongside us, are taking the most uh, strength in understanding this argument because we look weak and they're fighting alongside us and when we look weak they feel nervous. I think it's part of a broader problem which is a failure of leadership. When you have a failure to lead then you start to see this dissent breaking out in very unhealthy unproductive ways. We're now in a crisis situation because it's wrong for the military to criticize the civilian leadership of the government. It's wrong. It's against the chain of command. It's against the basic model that we have. At the same time, however, this is the man who designed the counterinsurgency strategy. This is the man with the confidence of his troops and the confidence still, apparently, of the administration. So what we need to do is we need tempers to settle and we need real leadership in Washington. Jan Schakowsky is chairing the Out of Afghanistan Caucus. She wants to pull everybody out right away, not just in Afghanistan, but in Iraq. She has made common cause with people like Hugo Chavez in Venezuela and Manuel Zelaya in Honduras, Fidel Castro in Cuba. That's not what we want. We have to stand up, support our troops, support the mission that we have to protect the United States and its allies from terror, and that's what we have to follow through with. And we need strategic clarity and strong leadership at the top. Anyway, thanks very much to everyone for being here. Please finish the food. There's plenty of it, and I'm here until you guys all leave. So please uh, ask me any qu more questions you have, and let's chat and continue to enjoy the fun. Thank you all very much for being here.